Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Elsa Marie, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here because today we are talking about edges. I want to save your edges. The colder months are coming and I'm gonna give you guys all the tips on how you can make sure that nobody's gonna lose their edges this winter or fall. I want everybody to be able to slay with the slick edges, with the baby hairs laid, but you need to actually take care of your edges in order to have them there and do fun things with them. So we're gonna get into all of it. I'm also gonna be including some tips for if you do have thinning edges or if your edges have broken, we're gonna be getting into that as well and how you can regrow and bring them back to life. So before we jump straight in, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I'll love you forever. And also make sure you hit that notification bell as well if you wanna be notified every single time a new video drops. So edges are fragile, sis. You gotta treat them with love. You gotta let them be sometimes. They can't be slick and slayed and laid all the time, every single day, that just can't, that's just not good for them, all right? So my first tip is to be gentle. Your edges, they're called baby hairs for a reason. You gotta treat them gentle like a baby. They're the most thin hairs, so you really don't want to be breaking them back all the time, pulling them back super tight, like you gotta really try and be gentle with your edges. Yes, once in a while when you are going to slick and lay those edges, then go ahead, rightfully so, do what you gotta do, but at the same time, even while you're doing all of that, make sure that you're being as gentle as you possibly can. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I, I'm not always slicking my edges like that. I also don't pull my hair back super tight all the time as well, because that's another contributor to thinning your edges. So that actually Actually brings me to my second point don't wear your hair too tight too often I get it if you have that kind of occupation where every single day your hair needs to be up that's fine pull it up but don't pull it super tight and slick it all back like don't put your edges under all of that stress every single day once in a while okay fine you're going for a certain look it's a special event I don't know where you're going right now but Anyways, this definitely should not be something that you're doing to your hair on a consistent and regular basis. So for those times that you are laying and slicking these edges, I will tell you that you need to make sure you wash out that edge control before you go to bed. You know how they say you always gotta wash off your makeup before you go to bed because your skin needs to breathe? I mean, I completely agree with that too, 100%. Like, please don't go to bed with your makeup on either. Don't do that. But your edge control is the same thing. Like at the same time, when you're washing your face with water, getting all that makeup off, just go a little bit higher and rinse out those edges too. Free them up so they can go to sleep nice and unstressed for the night. Edge control is beautiful. I love edge control. Don't even get me wrong, okay? But G is stiffening, okay? Because they're so stiffened, they have a much greater chance of actually breaking, especially during the night. If you're tossing and turning and moving all over the place, you might end up breaking your edges. So that's why it's super important to just make sure you wash out that edge control. You can even just take your DIY spray. You know the spray that I'm always telling you guys about, a mixture of water and conditioner? Just spritz that a little bit on your edges at night and that should help to kind of break up the gel a little bit so that your edges can now breathe as you sleep throughout the night. I'm telling you, this is very, very important because this is not necessarily something that you'll actually think about. Like who thinks about, ooh, I need to free my edges, no. But it's important and I want you to do it if you want to make sure you're saving those edges. With that being said, I know there are some edge controls that will be a lot more difficult to actually wash out. This is why I have become so, so picky with what edge controls I use. I love a good slick, right? But I don't like the ones that are like overly stiff to the point where when you're trying to wash it off at the end of the night, it's just not going anywhere. Like I feel like that is too much. Pattern Beauty, that's the number one edge control that I really would suggest to you. It slicks them down, it gets them held, but as soon as you spread some water on it, they start to loosen up again. And I, I just, I just love that about it because it just feels so nice and healthy for your edges. You don't have to worry about them breaking, honestly. So in terms of products on your edges now, I have to tell you, do not neglect your edges. Your edges need product too and not just edge control. They need moisture as well. The same way you put in leave-in conditioner when you're styling your curls, add a little bit of leave-in conditioner to your edges too. Especially during the colder half of the year, like that is when they need the moisture the most. So make sure you're not neglecting them and you're adding a little bit of additional product on there as well. And speaking of the colder months, I know it's about to be protective style season, all right? I know it's coming. Protective styles are great. They do protect your hair, but do they protect your edges? Have you lost edges because of your protective styles? What you need to tell your hairstylist next time or what you need to do if you're doing your own protective styles is to leave your edges out 
of the protective style, they don't need to be in there, all right? They can just hang out on the front and chill. You can add your little moisture products to them whenever you want, and that's fine. They don't need to be protected, okay? The edges, leave them out. This will not only really save your edges, but it might even make your protective style a lot more comfortable to wear. So just by having that simple conversation and just making that little simple decision could save the lives of many edges. So if you're watching this video and you're like, all right, sis, I'm gonna do all of these things, but my hedges are already broken, they're already thinning, what do I do? So my first tip for somebody who's trying to regrow their thinning edges is first to start using some castor oil. I never use oils in my hair, but the two places that I will use oil is my scalp, specifically scalp, not the hair, but the scalp, and then also the edges. So I definitely suggest you invest in a really nice castor oil product. Castor oil is specifically known for promoting hair growth. So if you just religiously, every single night before you go to bed, just oil up your edges a little bit, that should really help to encourage your edges to just really come back, come back to life and really grow back looking more full and more healthy. During that time though, of you doing the castor oil, you gotta still do all the tips that I just told you. Leave them out of your protective style, not pull your hair up too tight. Like you gotta be doing everything you possibly can to give your edges like the best environment to grow back in. You feel me? This may also really, really help you if you do have damaged edges from doing relaxers for a really long period of time. Another thing that I would actually suggest to you is checking out a hair growth vitamin one that I am loving, like this has been a recent find in my whole natural hair journey. They are the Curls Blueberry Bliss Liquid Hair Growth Vitamins, I think is what they're called. I just love the fact that they're liquid. You literally take it as a vitamin. It is liquid. It does taste good though. It tastes like blueberry. And it's so good with the liquid consistency. You're actually absorbing a lot more vitamins opposed to if they were in a pill form. So it's actually really, really good. And I can also confirm that it doesn't break me out. There have been numerous other hair growth pills that have broken me out but again thanks to the liquid formula this does not give me any acne on my skin at all so I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend and if you just take your vitamins every single day on a continuous basis this should also help you regrow your edges as well and then my last tip for kind of regrowing your edges and also just taking care of them if you already do have edges that you're just trying to protect is make sure that you are sleeping with a satin or silk pillowcase at night I say satin sometimes and then other times I say silk but I I just kind of use them interchangeably because both of the fabrics are going to be just fine. They're gonna work just the same in keeping your edges nice and healthy. Cotton pillowcases actually cause a lot of friction at night, especially if you move around a lot. They are also very, very drying, so if you're gonna go ahead and put on your castor oil and then lay down on a cotton pillowcase, it's just gonna soak all of that oil that you just put in your edges and it's just gonna go straight to the pillowcase. So instead, I definitely suggest you investing in a satin or silk pillowcase. I'm telling you, it will make all the difference, not even in your edges and your hair, but also for your skin. It is a win-win-win. All right, you need it and it's so comfy and it's also nice and cool at night when you go ahead and lay your head down. Oh, it feels so good. If you would prefer to use a satin scarf or silk scarf, then that works just the same as well. I personally, I think I move around a lot when I sleep. I must because every single time I have tried to use a scarf, it ends up on the floor. Sometimes it just straight up disappears. I don't know how that happens, but it happens. So for me, the silk or satin pillowcase is my best bet. I want to remind you to make sure that you are staying really patient because with edges, it's going to take time. If you do have some serious damage, it will take time to kind of grow them back. So give it a few months before you actually say, oh my gosh, this is not working. Like you really need to actually sit down, be consistent, give it time, and I promise you, you will definitely see results. If you guys do have any additional questions for me, go ahead and comment below. And better yet, if you have your own like magical suggestions for anything to do with edges, please go ahead and comment them below as well. We can get a nice little conversation going down there that will benefit everybody who comes across this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.